I sat up crying last night. I feel like a baby. I'm so gassy this morning. <laughs> On my way to the gym to work and work out, we have got somewhat of a busy day. What's today? Thursday, April 25th, I think. And then we're going to come home and work. I've got to finish some stuff rounding out the month for my clients. At the beginning of the month, I started with four and I'm ending with two. One of my client's contracts ran out and another person that was potentially my client ran off with my content. So I'm open to taking on more, just it's gonna be like a much more rigorous process. I'm on the veneer talk of TikTok and I have so many thoughts, but I have veneers. And back in my day, we used to be very quiet about our dental work. And I used to think veneers was like, if you had something wrong. Like, I didn't think people got veneers on purpose for like a fashion statement. Like people are getting braces and veneers in people's basements for fashion statements. It's craziness. Do you not care about yourself? I know some of you could care less about yourself, but damn, like care just a little bit. This is what I need to know. And I need you to zoom in a little bit so you can feel me. Who the f is administering the lidocaine? Because if you're telling me you're raw dogging veneer procedures, you're diabolical and you need to be checked in. You need to talk to that lady. Because not only are y'all getting them done in five hours, my process took a month. Y'all are doing them without numbing medicine? Insane. Jail. All of you. The clients. The people that are trying to do it. There's a person going on tour. Tour? To do people's teeth in a conference room? Get out of here. BFFR. Oh, something super fun is happening tomorrow and I can't freaking wait. I can't freaking wait. My cousin, who you've seen in my vlogs before, she's one of my best friends in this whole wide world, is moving to Dallas tomorrow and I'm so excited. Every day I've been talking to her. So what day? So what time? What time of the day? Do you think you're gonna pass me? Like, do you think we're gonna be out at the same time? Like, I'm, 
I have planned my whole day around when she gets here tomorrow because I cannot freaking wait. Okay, we are all done with work and working out. I had a good workout. I couldn't work out too hard because I can't sweat my hair out. <laughs> I did shoulders and biceps. We've gotta run a few errands. Like I said this morning, we've gotta go to Kroger, which is where we're going right now. We're going to Kroger and then I gotta go to Tom Thumb and then I've gotta go to uh, UPS. I know you're not honking at me. So fingers crossed, I stay, that's what I stay within is the things that I said. Sometimes I like to think of Kroger as Target because I go in there and I just, it's just vibes. <laughs> and it shouldn't just be vibes ever when I'm going to the grocery store. Thank you. The best drink from Sonic ever. And I just started adding mango in it. It's a large Coke. Large Coke, light ice, peach and mango syrup. home. I'm going to do a quick little grocery haul because I desperately need to take a shower. So I'm going to do this super fast. So from Kroger, this is what we got. Onions, English cucumbers, peanut butter. We also got water from Kroger, but I left that in the car. Bell peppers. Or just like peppers, I guess. Rice cakes, lemons, frozen vegetables. The Kroger brand of frozen vegetables ranges from like a dollar and a dollar fifty, sometimes even ninety nine cents. Great to have. We got some. I think this is antipasti. Yeah, we got some antipasto Italiano. My favorite. I got these chow mein things last time I was at Tom Thumb, and they were really good, so I bought two of those. I also got two pork sausages, these two. So everything that I need to freeze, I'm gonna freeze it later. And then I got two blueberries, two raspberries. We'll get that together later. I'm just gonna put all the stuff that has to go in the freezer and in the um, refrigerator put up right now. And then later on, after I've showered and I'm done working, then I'll go through and show you guys how I like divvy everything up. I got this baby red butter lettuce for my salads. I love butter lettuce. This is the Kroger brand, the Simply Truth Organic. Ramen noodles, because we always have to have those on deck. This is the most I've gotten from the grocery store in months. I needed some more olive oil, freezer bags. And then I got this Bortoli um, Shrimp Scampi and Linguini. More rice cakes, more chamein. This is a rotisserie chicken. I almost always get rotisserie chicken every time I go to the grocery store. And then ground, ground turkey. I also got some eggs. These are just 18. And then I also got um, a thing of Sprites 
from Kroger as well. This is from Tom Thumb. I needed some more sugar for my coffee. And then I got my infamous, I got one piece of end uh, salmon so I could eat it tonight. And then I got my infamous grill length steak. Steak, grill length salmon. I got a 12 pack of Sprites, a 24 pack of water, and all of this for $150. problem this happens every single time every thursday i only work out when i have to work at the gym which is not good but i'm slowly trying to get back into working out and like not forcing myself into doing it and so i worked out today obviously i worked and then i worked out and then y'all saw me run all them errands baby i'm tired i did get a lot done today that i should have gotten done which is not good so I have to really plan out my day tomorrow so that I'm more productive because the moment I'm tired and I only had one source of caffeine today. I only had a Red Bull and that was at 7 a.m. So my kitchen is a mess. I'm about to clean my kitchen up and get ready for tomorrow because we're going to do the same thing tomorrow. Just obviously not go run all the errands. After I get all my stuff together, I'm going to map out and like draft my client's content calendar so that tomorrow I can work on it and not have like anytime I have to write I have like this 30 minute to an hour like confuddlement where like I just can't start like I'm so anxious I just can't start and I've been like that ever since I was a kid I don't know why so this will help me get started quicker tomorrow and so that then when I come home I can just write that out I can do my laundry I already done it i just need to fold the clothes up and put them up but i can do my laundry i can write that out and send it to her and i can apply for more jobs which applying for jobs in itself is a literal full-time job where do i start shit everywhere unfortunately my patients won't allow me to do the dishes tonight i just can't do it I absolutely hate wasting food, but I made fried potatoes last night for this morning and they didn't come out good. I have, I'm not even gonna speak it into existence, but what, what's going on? Does anybody else take the edges off of the Pop-Tart? Because I do, I don't eat the edges. Just like some people don't eat the edges of their sandwich, I don't eat the edges of my Pop-Tart. I'm also gonna get my food together for tomorrow as well for me to take with me to work. Now I actually do have to do my dishes. Ugh. I don't want to be doing this right now. I've already taken a shower, so like I'm just in the mood to like get in the bed and shut my brain off for the rest of the night. But I need to make I 
probably could run probably could run this right now if we're being honest Blueberries, no, I got blackberries and raspberries. Those are my favorite. This is how discombobulated I am. I try to put the peanut butter in the refrigerator. It's time for me to go to bed. Put my vitamins with my what's it called? My lunchbox so that I can take them first thing in the morning and then I also have to make myself a little note in the morning to remind myself to open the refrigerator to get my Red Bull out and my food for my food that is needs to be refrigerated perfect I'm gonna put my eggs in the cartons that they go in. So it's double dips of the fruit. It smells so good in my house. I was sent the winter stroll candle by Replica and Mesa Margiela. That's my favorite fragrance brand in candle i love that they sell the fragrances in candle form and so my house is sitting the candle sitting right here and so standing over the candle granted it's winter stroll so it smells like when it smells like christmas time in here but that's my favorite time of year christmas is my favorite time of year so it's perfect one two three four let's say five pieces out of this i don't really know what this can do and then i have another piece that was already cut up that i have in the refrigerator Actually, I'm gonna flip it this way so I can do it the other way first. While I'm doing this, I want to talk to y'all, just like girl chat, you know. So I, I often get a lot of questions about how I started freelancing, and I try to answer them to the best of my ability. But this is my problem, and this is why sometimes being on social media, especially like um, TikTok and Instagram, not really YouTube, but like TikTok and Instagram, can get to be a little difficult because I'm long-winded. I want to talk about it 
And so I think what I need to do is just start making, like responding to comments in a video because I have so much to say. Sometimes I ramble to get, before I get to the point. So with that being said, <laughs> the way I got into freelancing was, um, well, let me, let me backtrack. Growing up, my dad always taught me if I ever wanted something done, like a service provided to me by someone, I needed to make sure that person either could do it for themselves, either could do it for themselves adequately, or they looked the part pertaining to the service that I was getting. So I'm gonna use hair for an example. And I feel like we've talked about this before, but so like I wouldn't go get my hair done by anybody that I didn't know, you know, had done their hair before, or I hadn't seen their work before I wouldn't blindly go into it. And luckily a lot of like the sew-in people in like Nashville and Louisville, I was able to see their work on Instagram. Now granted, I was having these people do, <clears throat> I was having these people try like Alonzo Arnold work and like Cliff Vermeer work when they had no business doing that. But um, if their hair looked put together, I knew that I could trust them, right? Like you trust people based off of what they're able to provide and so when it comes to freelancing i kind of like fell into it but it was easier for me i didn't really have to prove myself because i was able to do it for myself granted my following took me a tv show in eight years but i've been able to for the most part maintain it and move my plat move platforms and gain followership so when i would have people reach out to me and those people either knew me or knew of me in some capacity i will say the one caveat to that is that when people see your success and want you to do for them what you've done for yourself they automatically think the success that they find you at is the success that you could build for them and the amount of time that you're working for them whether that be overnight or one month like people do expect like the instant gratification i feel like our generation like millennials ha and gen z has like this like instant gratification um not complex but like we have it more i know for myself i do and I, the people that i see around me do but then you see people that outsource for things that they can't do they automatically want that instant gratification when it's like it took you time to get to where you are why don't you realize it's gonna take me time to get you to where you want to be so number one if you don't have a portfolio make a portfolio i feel like what i'm able to do is find where there's a need and so that is a piece of advice that i would give to anyone that's looking to freelance for anything you can't you're not going to reinvent the wheel you're not going to make some you're not going to like make this new discovery overnight especially when you're in a place of desperation because you need work or you need money or you need examples or you need the experience so in in turn instead of trying to invent something overnight or something that'll get you that's like a get rich quick scheme find the need find brands find small businesses that have a need and then figure out how you can be that solution when you're pitching to somebody especially when you're pitching to them for them to then pay you for something you want to tell them what you can do for them and tell them how you can solve the problem without giving them the blueprint sorry on my battery died so portfolio pitch aka find a problem solve the problem without giving the blueprint practice your pitch this is with everything but really with freelancing because you're on your own time 90 percent of the time and 10 percent of that time is structured based on your deadlines, figure out the resources that you need to be successful. You may not ever need to use a project management system for your freelancing. You may be so good at notating and itemizing and organization handwritten. That may be something that you know you have to do that you may never need that. You may, handwriting things may not even be in your aura of things to do that asana canva notion monday all of those you have to have them figure out the resources that you have to have also figure out the steps in being successful that you have to go through to get to the end result successfully and productively which for me is an onboarding process so i have a two-week onboarding process with all of my clients i wasn't doing the onboarding process at first and i really felt like i was all over the place I had a trial of taking on 
somebody where they wanted to skip the onboarding process and it ended in helter skelter which then ended in us not working together if the business that you're working with doesn't have any structure and they also don't have swim lanes for you because you're coming in to fix that need you have to be able to provide some structure to that business off top you have to be able to say you know i have this i have to work through i have this i have to work through i need to make sure i'm in contact with this person i need this person's email so that i can be successful in everything that i do so like i said for me it's a two-week onboarding process it's not something that can be skipped i never want to feel um micromanaged i mean who does but i specifically don't want to feel micromanaged as a freelancer because you 100 percent feel like you're being like pulled by your collar because it's like not only is the brand or the business free like outsourcing to you because they can't do it or they can't figure it out so now they have this strife and now they also feel like they need to they need to um micromanage you to get what they need done that is just no one works well that way and it just it turns out to be all bad and furthermore with freelancing they can cut you in a in a second you know what i mean and it's gonna take some trial and error that's what my mom keeps telling me over and over again because every i call her all the time i'm like this isn't working this isn't working this isn't working this really worked for this person but it's not working for this person it's going to take some trial and error and it's going to take trial and error per the people that you're working with because not everybody works the same and the quicker you figure that out the more successful you'll be in anything what are we on number four maybe this is number five take your emotions out of it i'm still working on that i think that is something that my mom has mastered and then the last thing i'll touch on about it is pricing so at first i wanted things to be like on an a la carte system where you know you tell me how many pieces of content you need in a month or a week and from there you know we kind of build your perfect contract or your perfect proposal and for some people that really will work i really do believe that for some people it really will work are the businesses where you are only doing the role that you were hired for they have an office manager they have someone in the county they have someone that's in sales this is for business owners do not and i mean this with so much love do not and stop taking business via dms if you already have a domain and you already have a website it takes nothing for you to create an additional page that is an inquiry page for you to direct people to instagram and tiktok now has automated responses automated comments automated dms make a template for the automated message the reason that i say this is because business gets lost in your dms 100 percent business and conversations get lost in your dms not only is so there's that piece but not only is the person that you've hired to run your social media manager or so run your social media not the manager of services or the manager of client relations or the manager of sales that person is solely there to once they receive those inquiries delegate where they go and i'm telling you you will see a spike in organization but also business because you have streamlines and you have a, you have sops for how to run your business i think a lot of businesses and this is for freelancers and small business and small business owners and just business owners in general a lot of businesses are missing sops 100 percent. so back to the pricing part and you can either do the a la carte system or you can do flat rates if there's other ways drop them down in the comments that's just what i've seen or you can do by project get everything here that i need okay so if you have any questions or you know you just want to you want to get in the industry you want to talk about it you want to get started you can always message me on instagram um if you have any questions leave a comment in the section of this video as always thanks for joining me for another video guys this is pretty long for a day in the life don't forget to tell your friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends because we love it over here right if you haven't already be sure to follow me on tiktok instagram and pinterest um if you want to see anything from me that you don't already get out of any of my other channels that you want to see over here or you see something on my other channels that you want me to expound about over here be also sure to put that in the comments don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on my next one bye guys